Hey folks, how's it going? Hope everything is going well. I just wanted to share a quick sculpt of a whale I made in ZBrush. It's pretty straightforward. So I've been sculpting in ZBrush for about a month now and I'm really enjoying myself. So here I'm just shaping this sphere out with my move tool. I'm just getting a general sense of what I want my whale to look like. Um, and I'm just dynameshing um, in between here. So when I'm sculpting in Dynamesh, I usually use the lowest resolution. Um, I think I'm using 128 here. And as I need more detail, I'll just um, increase the, the resolution. So I always use reference photos at the start of my sculpture. Um, it gives me a foundation for um, anatomical accuracy, uh, which I think is important at the beginning of your sculpture. I think once you've established the shape of your model and you have a clear direction for where you want to take your piece, I think the reference photo becomes less important. Um, and I think from that point, you can really start experimenting and playing around with, with the character of your piece. It's really when your voice and your perspective um, comes into play. Here I'm masking what will be the mouth by pressing down control and I will extract it. And I found this a pretty good method for making very basic mouths. I made this into a separate sub tool. So I'm just kind of smoothing things out and I'll move the mouth into place. Um, and that looks pretty good. Here I'm using a damn standard brush to kind of give the um, mouth a little bit of shape, a little bit of character. Um, using the smooth tool to smooth things out a bit. And I think I only used four brushes um, when making this whale, which is really cool and really efficient. Um, I'm using the inflate brush here. So, so far I've used the inflate, the damn standard, and the move brush. Um, and I was just kind of inflating the lips there a little bit to, again, give it some body. Here I'm placing the eye um, and I'm making it into a separate subtool so we can work on it a bit later. I'm just using the clay brush here to map out where I want my wrinkles to be and where I want the general musculature to be. Um, it's kind of a rough, rough sketch of where I want things. And I, I feel like that helps me um, kind of have direction when I'm sculpting. Here I'm just masking uh, where I want the fins to be and I just pulled it out with a move tool. Pretty simple technique. I'm using the damn standard brush again here once more just to shape the, the fins a little bit. I'm working on the eyes now and kind of just figuring out, um, again, where I want the wrinkles to be, what shape I want the eye to be in. So I think I want to make a whale with kind big eyes here. So just kind of shaping it, um, switching back and forth between the damn standard brush um, and the inflate. Um, so I'm inflating parts of the eye and then I'm cutting away with the damn standard. And I found this to be um, a pretty effective technique in make, making some interesting shapes in the eye um, and some interesting wrinkles in the eye. So again, I'm just cutting away here at what I inflated and then I'm smoothing things out to create the wrinkles under the eye. Whales, I think for me, like whenever I see a whale or whenever I kind of think about what a whale represents, it always puts me in kind of a calming, soothing mood. So yeah, it was pretty calming um, sculpting this whale as well. So again, just using the standard brush here to sculpt in some wrinkles and um, work on some details, freestyling here seeing what things kind of work, what looks nice, again, what suits the mood of this whale. 
Um, I want to make it, again, I, I'm going for like a kind, um, gentle look. So just kind of working with a clay tool here to see how we can achieve that gentle expression. It's amazing how you can turn just a basic sphere into um, an animal or a character in, in a matter of a few minutes. It's, again, uh, ZBrush is really powerful that way. Um, and I've only been using uh, four brushes so far. So um, I feel like um, I feel like if you master the basic brushes, you can really make a lot of what you want to make. I think the specialty brushes um, make things easier um, and perhaps save time. But um, I think the basic brushes and fundamental um, techniques are really what's going to get most people through their sculpts and are going to help them to create the models they want to create. So here I'm just, um, again, using the standard brush um, to kind of work on some musculature in the belly area to give the whale a little, a little bit of strength. I kind of like these wavy shapes that I'm making with the standard tool. I think the shapes remind me of um, waves and the water. So I'm, that's kind of what I'm going for, I suppose. Um, this kind of wavy, wavy shape um, and wavy musculature in the body. I think it just makes sense um, for a whale to have. So I'm nearly done here. Um, I moved down the belly portion a bit with the move tool and then dynameshed it. I wanted to give the whale a little bit more heft and a bit more body. So I really enjoyed the process of sculpting this whale and I think he turned out pretty well. So I made a 3D print of my sculpture on my Elegoo Mars 2 Pro. Sorry that I only have pictures. My camera is actually malfunctioning. I think I need to get a new one. I just primed it gray and I painted in the eyes and I kept it pretty simple and it looks really nice. Um, if you want to try printing it, I will leave the link to the STL in the description below. Please do give it a shot. And if you have any questions about the print, I'll be sure to um, try my best to help. And this is another angle. So this again was a resin print. I think it'll come through pretty well uh, with um, an FDM printer as well. But I think resin, of course, gives you a little bit more of the details that you're looking for. Yeah, and it looks it looks quite quite nice with all of those details around the eyes, and you can kind of see the musculature um, on its belly that that we made. So yeah, it came out very nice. Very happy with the print. So again, guys, I'll leave the STL um, in the description below. Please do give it a shot. Thanks again so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe. If you want to see more content like this, let me know what other sculptures you'd like for me to make. I'll try my best to oblige. Thank you guys so much again. Thank you for your support, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.